Five Windows logo keyboard shortcuts that you may never knew existed, coming up. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is Monday and we're going to cover five Windows logo keyboard shortcuts that are super useful. So let's dig in. Tip number five and that is using the Windows logo plus the shift key plus your left and right arrow keys to move an application or window across your different monitors. As you can see in your screen at the top right of your video, that's going to be my right hand monitor with me being on the main. So if we go ahead and open up a Windows Explorer, you're going to notice it's going to pop up right behind me and then I'm going to hold down the Windows logo key the plus the shift key and then I'm going to use my right arrow key and that's going to move that over to the right hand monitor and then I can press the left arrow key to bring it back to the center Tip number four happens to do with previewing your desktop. What you can do is you can hold the Windows logo key and then comma at the same time to get a preview or just temporarily peek your desktop. Maybe you have a desktop icon that you wanna check for or maybe you wanna check to see what type of wallpaper you have because you're maybe looking to change it, etc. Windows key and comma and as long as you hold those down, it will temporarily peek the desktop and then you can release those keys to bring it right back up. Next one up is tip number three, and it runs along the same lines as tip number four, but instead of using the comma key, we're gonna replace comma with the letter D as in Delta, and that's going to permanently minimize any type of applications or windows that you have open and actually give you a permanent view of your desktop. Now, if you do have side monitors, there's a potential that it could hide the taskbars. You can just hit Windows D again to toggle on and off between the windows and the preview. So what we're gonna actually do is hold Windows and then letter D as in Delta again, and you're gonna see it's going to minimize all of your applications or windows and then if you hold it down and press it one more time, it's gonna bring those right back up to where they were. The second tip that I have for you guys today is using the Windows key and the letter E as an echo. What that does is quickly open up your My Computer Explorer. So if you do Windows key and E, it's gonna open up the Explorer window and then you can gain access to all of your drives or all of your folders very quickly. The last and most useful keyboard shortcut, at least for my opinion, is for those that are trying to gain access to the System Properties panel very quickly. You can hold down the Windows key plus the pause break and what that's going to bring up is the system properties window for you to go in and manage the computer. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other keyboard shortcuts have you used or do you know about? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you found the video useful and informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff tech related from how to's and tutorials all the way over to tech news and unboxings. I'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.